Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Wendy and welcome to the Becerra family. So today's video is I'm going to be showing you guys my everyday makeup routine and my new products of makeup that I bought recently. Ulta and Sephora and Target. I got some new makeup and new makeup always makes me happy even though I'm not an expert at doing makeup. I have no way like know how to do my makeup that good but I feel like I know the very basics. So I want to just show you guys like my like everyday makeup routine, my everyday makeup products that I've been using, what I use on my face and all that fun stuff. So we got a little green tea moment. No coffee. We don't know her right now. And I know what you guys are thinking like, Wendy, we miss your coffee posts. I know guys, I miss them too, but we're so close to finishing our fast. Our fast is over this Sunday, so we got a few more days left. We are like holding on strong. We are finishing strong, so we do just have a couple of days left and then we can go back to coffee. I think that's the thing I miss the most. It's not that, I mean, I was addicted to coffee. Like, I was drinking too much coffee, honestly. But I just miss it. Like, I love coffee. I love the flavor. I just like, ooh. Anyways, enough of that. Let's get started. I'm going to put on the little headband. I get these at uh, TJ Maxx or Marshalls or um, Ross. You can find them in the beauty section. I like them because they keep your hair back and out of your face. And we have a little cheetah one, which is so cute. But to start off, I'm going to put um, some Vaseline. I got this at Target. I love them. I carry it in my purse. This is the rosy lips. Just grab a little bit. And moisturize our lips while we get ready. So I don't do my makeup every single day. Sometimes I'll like go like a bare face and just put um, sunblock. But some days I do like to get ready like every other day. I don't know. It depends on what I feel. So we're going to start off with the Rare Beauty. The mist. The 4-in-1 mist. So I'm just going to spray it all over my face. We're going to let that settle in. And then we're going to use the Tola Vitamin C. I always put Vitamin C on my face and the moisturizer every single day and night. So we just put like a few drops everywhere. And then we just rub that in. And for my moisturizer, I've been recently started using this one. And I've been so obsessed with it. I feel like it really hydrates your face. It's a double repair face moisturizer and it has SPF 30. You can get this at Target. And um, Ulta, I got this at Ulta, I believe. I just put very little, like this much. It goes a long way and then I just... Put it everywhere and then you just rub it in. And whatever you put on, you could also bring it down to your neck. I recently got two new concealers. I got the Milani, which I've been using. And honestly, it doesn't have too much coverage. So I went yesterday to Target and I got the NYX, the new NYX concealer, the Bear With Me concealer. So I'm going to be trying this one today and we're going to need a flat brush. A flat brush like this. This one is from Asaki Cosmetics. This is an S4. So let me open this first. Alright, so I'm using the shade, where is this? light so i'll just put a little bit on the brush and we're just going to put this on our kind of to shape your eyebrows i want to say you know i always do this so i put this a little bit here and a little bit here so we clean i clean my eyebrows with concealer so 
So you kind of just trace your eyebrows. I'm letting my eyebrows grow right now because the last time I got them done, they got butchered. Like I literally have this eyebrows thinner than this one, but don't look at them. And I'm going to let them grow out because I'm going to go get them done professionally this time. Because the last time I just went when the mall y me las dejaron una más delgada que la otra. And I'm like, no. So now I have to let them grow out and be all ugly. So I'm going to let them grow out for another like three weeks so then I can finally get them done. Because right now they are like not the vibe. So I forgot to go wet my beauty breath sponge. So I'll be right back. How beautiful she is because she is brand new. This is an e.l.f. beauty sponge. It's only $6 at Target. $6. It's such a good deal. Okay, so now we're just going to go over it with the beauty blender. Usually this makeup look that I'm going to do. Usually I can do it in 10-15 minutes. 20 minutes if I have to put lashes, but it's pretty quick. Right now, it's going to take me a little bit longer because, you know, I'm explaining it to you guys. And I'm, like, doing step by step. But usually, I'm like, Ch -ch 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 -ch. I'm pretty fast because I kind of have it down already. But I, I like this concealer, guys. I think it's pretty good. Pretty good. So now we're going to get some powder. This is the Laura Mercier, the translucent powder. And this is my setting powder brush. This is from Real Techniques. It's a 402 um, setting brush. I really love it. I just got it too at Ulta. I think it was like $6 as well. So you just grab a little. We're going to set our eyes so they don't crease. I hate it when you get like that crease. So I always put a little bit of setting powder after on my whole eyelid. And if you want to put on eyeshadow after you cut or you don't have to, but I only do my eyebrows very little. This is my go-to eyebrow routine. So this is the Morphe, the Morphe um, Micro Brow Pencil. This one is in the shade Java. Comes with a little spoolie on one side and the color on one, the other side. So we're just going to comb them first. going to go over it very very lightly i really don't do much to my eyebrows i don't need to shade them or shape them too much because i already have very thick eyebrows very like um black eyebrows so i don't really do much i just kind of like fill them in a little bit more sometimes i really don't put any product all i do is like the gel the brow gel Um, and that's pretty much it. And now we are just going to use this one. This is the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. And I'm just going to put the gel on my eyebrows just to like set them in place where I want them. Next, usually I usually um, do this on um, my, my facial hair a little bit. She's a little hairy sometimes, so we just gotta like clean her up. Light eyeshadow, like something. I usually when I do light eyeshadow, I just do like brown and I just kind of like go over my crease. And that's pretty much it because I'm not trying to do anything fancy. So this is a super old palette, but I love it. The Anastasia Beverly Hills, the Modern Renaissance. And I just get like any brush and I get kind of like an orangey brownish tone. And I'll just go over my crease just to give it like a little bit more of like depth in my eye. like a a white color i feel like there should be a white color in every palette this is a teddy 
Teddy Boy from Butter London. And it has a really nice white here. And I just use my finger and I'll put it in like my inner corner of the eye. Just to illuminate the eyes a little bit more. Just, now we're going to work on our face. So this is a primer I've been using from Rare Beauty. I really like it. It's an illuminating primer. And I just put very little. And I'll just put it here on my T-zone. So I am very, actually very disappointed porque I was so excited when I bought and I found this, this foundation that everyone was hyping up and it was sold out at all the Sephora stores and I was happy because I was able to find my shade in even a travel size but now that I've used it a couple of times I honestly don't like it. This is a Hollywood Flawless Filter by this is the one from the uh, Charlotte something. Honestly, I feel like it has zero coverage. I'm going to show you guys. I, I don't want to let it go to waste. So what I've been doing is just putting it on and putting another foundation on top or mixing it with another one. But I'm going to show you guys that it has like zero coverage. Like you would think. At first I thought I was like, wow, it's good. But no, la verdad es que no tiene nada of coverage. Let me show you guys right here. Just so you guys could see. It's very like light coverage. Unless you're into that or you want that. But if I'm going to pay $50 for something, I want it to cover my imperfections. Like, Don't be leaving me looking like this still. You know? I feel like I'm just wearing lotion. I don't really see a difference at all. So what I've been doing, I just put some on. Just so it doesn't go away, I've just been putting like a light coat on, blending it. So lately I've been using the ColourPop. It's very affordable, about like $12 at Ulta. This is the one I've been using on top of this one. And this one will give me like that full coverage. You see that? $12 and how much it covers. So... Yes, this is much better. Make sure you get that neck too. You don't want to be looking like you're wearing a mask. Okay, this is much better coverage. So what I do now is I get a little bit more of my foundation. I grab the flat brush again and I will go over the top of my eyebrows just to like clean them. And then kind of like go up with the foundation. It makes the eyebrows look so much cleaner when you do that little extra step. You need very, very little foundation. Then you just get your sponge and just blend it all in. Put some concealer under our eyes. I'm just going to put some here and some here. And we are going to blend that. contour bronzer i recently 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 maybe in the last month started doing contouring i don't even do contouring i just do this as an extra step of my bronzer i just found out about this kat von d um it's kind of like a liquid um bronzer this was in the light warm and it comes like this and a little wand and all i do is put like little dots on This from Real Techniques as well, and then I'll just blend it. So this is like 
like a cream blonde bronzer this is like a cream bronzer and i also have been using this cream blush from rare beauty i'm really obsessed with rare beauty right now this one is in the color nearly mauve mauve and i first i put my cream on this is a cream um, blush too so i'm gonna put the cream one crazy i hadn't used brown blush in such a long time because i feel like i'm already pink as it is but recently i started using blush and i really do like it so now that we put the creams on we are gonna seal them in a way seal them with a powder one so we're gonna use a powder bronzer now this is the one from hula and this one is honestly my favorite bronzer out there we're gonna get another brush. I use different brushes, one for the cream one and one for the powder one. So this is for the powder one. You just go over it where you where you would just put the bronzer. We're gonna do the same thing with the blush one. So this blush is from essence it is only two dollars you can get it at ulta it is like the perfect blush color <coughs> just go over where you put some very very lightly um put some setting powder under our eyes and on your t-zone but before i do that i go back in and blend my under eye one more time we use the same setting brush so this this one okay i look a little bit naked i need something so i'm gonna put lashes on like whatever just so i can show you guys a look so these are from red rose lashes this is the style serena we're just gonna cut them to our eyes. These are a little bit, a little bit extra for my style, but I'm gonna cut them. Put a very little bit of eyeliner, just so you can't notice the lash too much. Not an everyday look for me. I will not wear lashes this extra on a daily basis, but I had bought in some from Kiss. They were like very natural, wispy looking. And I ran out, so these were the only ones I had on hand, but whatever. I guess we're gonna be extra today. Um, black eyeliner also on here on the top. <laughs> and then this cream, um, what shade is it? This is the Silky Nude um, Extreme Lasting Waterproof. This is from Essence and I will put that here on the bottom. like that i will get like a brown color and i would get, let's get a very small brush and do the i put eyeshadow on my bottom lashes and just blend it mascara Guys, my favorite mascara at the moment is the Man Eater by Tarte. It is honestly so good. I love, 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 love this brush, how it is. And it leaves your eyelashes looking good. I always put mascara on my bottom lashes as well. 
And now we are going to put on a little bit of highlighter. So I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills. I've had this one for a long time. It just doesn't like... I have been using it so for so long and it just never ends. <laughs> we just put a little bit here. And on our nose. Now I'm going to show you guys um, my lipstick lipstick um, combo for the moment. I'm into this one. This is a Milani lip crayon in the shade Can't Even. And then the Essence lip pencil. This one is in the shade... Where is it? Say? Oh, charming. So we have this. Let me just sharpen this up a little bit. This is like the perfect pink nude um, combo for your lips. Like if you love pinks and nudes, this is it. Voy a cantar esta canción. Con mucho cariño de mi corazón A la República Dominicana La Casa del Merengue y la Casa de la Bacha Look how pretty that is It's very subtle and cute So this is my makeup look I would have done this so much faster because obviously I know like my routine and how I do it But I wanted to show you guys step by step I don't usually wear lashes this long on a daily basis like i said but today we are and that's it so now we're gonna go do our hair but i'm gonna end the video here i hope you guys um liked it let me know what your guys's makeup favorite makeup products are at the moment and if you're trying any of these and if you like them or you don't like them let me know in the comments down below i hope you guys enjoy this video and if you guys want me to do more of these types of videos let me know i also do want to do a morning skincare or night skincare routine for you guys because you guys are asking me to do that and i'll do it for you guys so if you guys want to do a if you guys want me to do a skincare routine my morning skincare routine video let me know in the comments down below i love you guys thank you guys for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and share this video i love you guys